bonus Saturday game live. Dublin Sirlers may feel they could have won it last weekend, but today they start from scratch against Galway in the battle to book a place in the Leinster hurling semi-finals in a fortnight's time. Eddie Brennan and Tomás Mulcair are with me for today's replay. And Eddie, we didn't get much of a match as we had expected last week. Is there signs, are there signs and hope that we could get one today? Yeah, you'd expect a little bit more fireworks from both sides. I think uh, Galway in particular probably have a bit more scope to improve. Um, I think for the last the last day, the match was played on Dublin's terms for, from the time Galway got the goal. Dublin responded with four points and from then on it was kind of, it, Dublin were in the driving seat really and it was, it was probably down to Dublin's lack of ability to really kill off Galway that created the opportunity and, and Aidan Hart when he came and got it you know we've all referred to during the week poor David Tracy's last the free to put Galway home probably and, or put Dublin home and force Galway to go after the goal he just didn't convert it to one free all day after having a great day so um, yeah look you'd expect maybe the, the, the WD40 has worked during the week and the rust is off now and we'll, <laughs> we'll have a right good match tonight I think both sides really going at hammer and tongs it could be a little bit spicy too Oh we hope so would you agree <laughs> that Galway have more improving to do to us? Um, I think Galway will be the much happier team coming out of last weekend. Um, I happened to bump into Jor Cunningham on Thursday night and he was kind of disappointed that they didn't finish it off. The last day he felt they had enough chances, created enough. They were probably the better team over the 70 minutes. Galway hung in there. But for me, there was something lacking the last day as a championship feel. We, we, we love the cut and trust of championship, you know, the, 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 the hack thing. It was very, very subdued. Guys were kind of maybe afraid to express themselves. And you just wonder, was the tactics going into the game? Did it kind of freeze a couple mm. of guys? And guys happened to go and drop back and stuff like that. Hopefully today the shackles are off. Guys will be allowed to go and express themselves. And I'm sure of the last week, Gal will have learned a lot from their mistakes. They were under a bit of pressure inside their full back line. Dublin on the other side as well will we'll learn from their mistakes as well. So hopefully we're going to get a good game of furling this Does evening. Does that suggest a whole change in approach on both sides, Eddie? It possibly will. I think first and foremost, I think from, from a Galway perspective, and we, we've seen the change with Dahi Burke coming in instead of Garod McInerney, that's probably to, to maybe keep an eye on Danny Sutcliffe, who for me was in and out of the match mm -hmm. the last day. He didn't have that big of an impact. No. And he still picked yes. off his few points, which is what you want. But... Um, from a Galway perspective, I think their own half forward line didn't offer them enough. I mean, they kept that space between, there was huge space between the Galway full forward line and the half forward line. But, but that's what they were supposed to do, isn't they it? They were I trying mean, to do that, and I think it paid dividends insofar as you know, Cooney's goal. But after that, they didn't get anything really from, from Glynn, mm. not enough from Andy Smith. And subsequently, because of that, with the space they created, it was the two men the corner took advantage. Joe yeah. Canning wasn't really as influential as we, as we probably well, expect. I, I just think maybe, like for the likes of Jonathan Glynn, right, he's playing a wing forward, but he's, he's Job or his job spec last week was to get back for their puck outs, for double yeah. puck outs, get in in front of Liam Rush, get in in front of Ryan DeWare, actually start competing there. Don't let them take clean possession off the year. So, I mean, will you see him more up the field, right? He was very static even under the Galway puck out, right? You need, you need a guy to go attack the ball. He was just waiting for it to land on his head before he propped his hand. And the big question, I think, Joanne, is, is, is the full forward line, certainly. OK, well, that's the view from in here. Let's hear from the two men in charge, the two Cunninghams, Anthony and Ger. Uh, Gerard, the very best of luck. Uh, a very short time span between the draw and the replay. So what have you been doing with the team over the last couple of days? Yeah, as Marty, six days is a very tight turnaround. Um, you know, it's just hard enough to recover in six days and get ready for a, for a replay on, on top of having an under-21 Leinster quarter-final on top of you as well against Kilkenny during the week. So, you know, it was about recovery really and trying to get over last Saturday or last Sunday. Learn the lessons that, that, uh, that we think we've learned from, from, the, from that game and try to put them into practice for today. So it's a very, very short turnaround. Well, Anthony, the moment has arrived. Uh, it's replay time. How do you feel? Yeah, well, look, at, we're here to have a better performance than last weekend. We have to be to win this match, and we're well up for it. Um, prepared very well during the week and very happy. No injuries and all set. Any changes for the replay? Yeah, the Ibor comes in at wing back there instead of Garrod McInerney. And um, because we've, we've trained hard during the week, the guys are hugely, hugely up for this match and uh, one we have to win. Yeah, we heard uh, the two managers, uh, we heard Anthony Cunningham talk about the... <coughs> well, the big surprise, even shock from a Dublin perspective, is the news that Johnny McCaffrey has been dropped and former Kerry player Darrell O'Connell starts at midfield for Dublin. As expected in the absence of the injured Peter Kelly, Mikey Carton starts at fullback and Paul Schutte has recovered from an ankle injury and will play at cornerback. David Collins captains a young Galway side that clearly has the hunger to do well here. Centre fielders Joseph Cooney scored the only goal last weekend in Croke Park, while Aidan Hart was the saviour of the weekend with the equalising point. One late change sees Dahi Burke come into the starting 15 at left half back instead of Garrod McInerney. Throw in here is going to happen in just a few minutes' time. 